Good morning, Jim Lurkey, owner of Safety Connections. And my message for the week is going to be continuing down the path of creating a positive culture. All right, that's going to, in the end, get results. <clears throat> so, we talked about positive in, before, in, the, in this blurb last week, and I just see so much negative, I can't stop but keeping on talking about positive things. And I think all too often, we simply fail to realize what it means by being positive. <clears throat> I'll have people that'll say, how can you do it, Jim? How can you do it with knowing what happened in all your life? One thing after another after another, including a, a absolutely horrific accident, meaning the worst one in the state of Wisconsin with, from a death standpoint. So <clears throat> what do I want you to know today? I think, I think with positive, you got to have the confidence. And that's what's that look on your face, in your eyes, that smile on your face. Is it genuine or isn't it genuine? I think it's just critical because it comes back to moving people through reaching the heart and soul. That's really in a nutshell. So I'm going to talk about a number of other things today. Confidence. I think it's all, all too critical because if you're not confident, what do we expect them? How do we expect them to react? Think about that. And by displaying that amount of confidence, what will that do? Think about it. If you don't have it versus having it. Also then, motivating, creating that want for others. That comes with having a mission and a vision. Uh, do we have a vision uh, where we want to be? Uh, does that include profitability? Do people understand if you're not profitable, what happens? We sometimes, we just need to let people know. It's critical. So it's in, something's in it for all of us. Even as an, a business owner myself, and been an employee in a plant for some 15 years. I get it, but everyone needs to get it and be on the same page. So having a vision, looking for that end result, which can affect their paycheck, their own personal safety, their well-being, uh, helping people to get through the ups and downs. And we talk about ups and downs, folks. It's easy to deal with all the good, but when the Rubber meets the road is when you got to deal with those negative situations. And so we got to keep our emotions in check, critical. So, with vision, you got to plan. You got to be able to, to share the numbers. With that comes responsibility. It's important that everyone be responsible. And you need that checks and balances to hold us accountable. Me, no different. It's just a must. Because if you don't, it'll be a free for all. You'll never get the results if you don't have a goal and be responsible to meet that goal. Uh, so let's keep that in mind. So it really helps us to what? It helps us to stay on track on what the vision is, what the goal is. That's what it's really to do. Not dwell on it. Yeah, we gotta let people know where they score, but we have to promote and promote. With that comes transparency. What does that mean? It means uh, reaching its goals and more. We don't have to, we don't have to lay our laurels on being status quo. We don't have to do that. We can go above and beyond that. That means being open and building trust. So how do we, when thinking about that, how do we build that trust? Well, uh, I'm going to conclude by telling you this. It's about being level and it's about being honest with people because I see it, I teach it, and I can tell you, you can do things right, and some of you that are going to listen are going to know that you can do things right 99 times out of 100. But the one time, the one time you don't, folks, what do you think people remember? That one negative thing. Keep that in mind, and uh, we'll look forward to chatting next week. And uh, I'm sure... I want to keep talking about positive things and what we can do and what we can create with sky being a limit. So have a great and safe week. Thank you.